Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. A lot to get into to start off the work week. We're starting off with some patchy, dense fog across the state line, and also now we have a higher risk for uh, severe weather that's set to arrive this afternoon. But taking a live look at our Mercy L SkyTrack camera this morning, right at the Jefferson Street Bridge in downtown Rockford, got some haze and also got some fog out there, but not as dense as other places are this morning. Down to two mile visibility just to the west of us in Freeport, one mile visibility in Rochelle and DeKalb. Point three up in Monroe and down to three in our areas closer towards uh, the Mississippi River. So if you're set to head out during the mid morning hours onto the roadways, just make sure to take it slow, drive with extra caution, and also drive with your low beams on. That typically helps you drive through dense fog as you travel into work. So let's take a look at satellite and radar. Nothing else weather wise to slow you down today. We do have mostly cloudy skies overhead, no rain chances as of this morning, but those are going to be increasing as we head into the early afternoon hours. And it's all with this cold front that you see here draped across Minnesota and also moving into uh, Nebraska. You're going to see a cluster of thunderstorms that are moving into western Iowa. Those already have a severe thunderstorm watch uh, with that cluster and also a cluster that's now moving into central Wisconsin. Got a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings, but we're just going to wait until this uh, afternoon, especially between one and five for our threat for thunderstorms and severe weather. But it's also because of the hot and humid conditions that we've had the past couple of days. This air mass ahead of the front is going to stick around with us. So temperatures today climbing into the upper 80s. We're also going to have high humidity. So that's also going to add uh, to spark up those thunderstorms that set to arrive early this afternoon. So let's take a look at that using Futurecast. This is why they upgraded us to a higher risk for severe weather. Models are now honing in on that line of thunderstorms moving in from the west. It's going to be a strong line of thunderstorms or what we call a mesoscale convective system. And these types of storm systems typically have very strong wind gusts up to 70 to 80 miles per hour and also heavy rainfall. So you can see this line getting into a better condition as it makes its way towards the state line and that's going to be passing on through as we go from 1 o'clock this afternoon to 5 o'clock. So that's going to be the main time frame to be weather ready uh, this afternoon because once that cold front passes through, dry conditions are going to follow suit and that's going to lead to decreasing clouds overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. So we're going to have a dry day tomorrow and Wednesday and also less humidity to deal with as we head into Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon. So here's that upgrade. You can see the Storm Prediction Center as of the 8 o'clock update has put half of our region under an enhanced risk. That's level three of five in the categories for severe weather because with that mesoscale convective system or that strong line of thunderstorms, we are going to get very strong winds between one and five o'clock and also heavy rainfall and free Frequent lightning are going to be the primary threats for severe weather. So let's take a look at the seven day forecast. As far as any more rain chances following that cold front, we are going to dry out for Tuesday and Wednesday, but then warm up slightly heading into the weekend. Just remember, one to five today is going to be the time frame to be weather ready.